This is Colby Carpenter, SciTech South Mississippi. Um, today we're going to go over how to create lines in SiteWorks. So I'm going to go over two different options. The first being actually physically shooting in the line um, in the scenario that we've got features out in the field that we want to go shoot and have SiteWorks draw the line between those two shots as we shoot them. Um, the second option is going to be actually drawing in the line with two existing points that we have already built into SiteWorks. So we'll jump into it. So the first option is actually shooting in the line. So um, typically when you start up SiteWorks and get connected to your rover or your robot, you know, whatever tool you're using, uh, it puts you in measure mode by default. So if I were to hit my blue plus sign over here, it would start shooting topo points. Um, I want to swap from point mode to line mode. So the way to do that, this is my measure type icon right here. When I click that, you can see right here I'm in point mode. I can name my point and set it up the way I want it. For this scenario, I want to use a new line. I'll leave it named line one and select what line type I want to draw. So you can see I can shoot this as a feature line, an area line, a break line, and if I want to use this for some sort of grades or grade breaks, um, volume boundaries or outer boundaries of an area. So. For this particular uh, scenario, I'm going to go with just a feature line. We'll accept that. And you'll navigate to your first spot, your first feature that you want to shoot. Go ahead and shoot it in, and you'll see that I've got line point one that just showed up. So as I walk across my site to get to that next feature, you'll see that it's starting to draw in that line as I'm moving. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, we'll say that we've navigated to our second feature out in the field we're standing over it we take a shot and it drew in that line so the more you move um, that line is going to continue past where your last shot was so if I don't want to continue that line but I want to start a new line we're going to go back to this same icon we're still on new line it's going to automatically name the next line as line 2 we'll accept and I can start drawing my new line there. So that's how you physically shoot in lines in SiteWorks. So the next option I want to talk about is actually drawing in lines. I've got two existing shots out here from you know either past shots or I was given coordinates to where these two features were. So to draw in a line, I'm going to go to my menu. I'm going to go to Kogo, create points and arcs. If you know which icon to choose down this left hand side, choose it there. I like to use my help button over here. And then I'm going to go to create line or boundary. It's asking me to tap my points, um, but first I'm going to choose what line type do I need. Again, I'm just going to go with a feature line, give it a name if you want to, and then simply tap between the two points that you want to create that line and press accept. Once you're done, we can back out of this. Um, I'm going to put it back in just basic point mode. So I'm going to hit this icon again, point mode, accept. Now all three of these lines are stakeable. They have information tied to them. Um, we can use these for whatever we need to use them for, and they'll stay in SiteWorks within that work order um, from now on. 